Live, local, late breaking. WPBF 25 News at 9 starts now. All right, welcome back. October National Dyslexia Awareness Month. And we got a local group right here in our hometown that is focusing on helping people who have dyslexia build their confidence and also give resources to parents with kids who might be struggling with this as well. So joining me this morning, we got 11 year old Shane Herman right here, co founder of Let's Get Booking, and also we got Michael Koner, co founder of Philanthropy Tank. First, uh, Michael, tell me, how did this charity come about? Well, we decided a group of professionals in their local area, and we founded a group to basically challenge mm -hmm. our youth today and empower them to come up with various impactful ideas. And, and what were some of those ideas that have come I out? I mean, we've, this is our fourth year, and we've had girls dress up as fairy princesses mm -hmm. to go to hospitals. Mm -hmm. We recently had a park open for disabled kids down in Del Rey. Legos to hospitals, you name it, aquaponics, hydroponics. And then our most recent winner was Shane and his partner, Nestor, are dealing with dyslexia. And it's been a, interesting to watch him grow up as, you know, through the whole process and gain confidence. And you said, Shane, you, you said it was three years ago, eight years old, uh, when, yeah. when you started thinking something might be up here and you wanted to get it figured out. Eventually you realized it was dyslexia. Yeah. Why was that so difficult um, at I, first, trying to read? I got misdiagnosed at first. Yeah. And so kids used to make fun of me in class and that made me feel stupid. So um, so me and my parents, uh, so my parents wanted me to read to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, they corrected me, which which actually, uh, it, it also just killed my confidence. Hurt your confidence. So, um, so uh, we so we walked into Harbor Chase, which mm -hmm. is an assisted living facility, and if we asked if we could read to some of the ladies for a few minutes, so um, I read, and it was and it was great. It was a great experience. They even applauded when I was done, and I wanted to provide the same experience for other people. And so that built your confidence, having that experience of reading in public yeah. and it going well. Yeah. That was that was a good thing. What would be your message to? to other kids that, that are your age that, that might think they're dealing with this? Um, it, people with dyslexia are smart, even though they might struggle now, it's still a gift that uh, might help you later on in life, even though it, even though you struggle now, um, it's still great for later. And, and now you have your gift of public speaking and reading, and, yeah. you, and you, this is something hopefully you could continue doing the rest the rest of your life. Yes. So, so Michael, tell me, wh where, what do you feel like people do not understand, people that aren't in this uh, community? What, what do they need to know about dyslexia? Well, I think, you know, you learn a lot from watching his videos. Sure, I mean, yeah. and it's amazing to watch what he's done mm -hmm. in terms of he's sat there with dogs, mm -hmm. cats, mm -hmm. even horses mm -hmm. to give up the confidence to be able to just read. Because, I mean, when just confronted with being able to read, and I think if you go online and, and check out Let's Get Booking, I think you can learn a lot from dyslexia. I did. I learned more about it from him than I ever knew about it, you know, prior to that. Yeah, I, I believe it. And tell me a little bit about the application process that's underway right now. What do, what do we know about yeah, that? Yeah, we're so accepting far, applications now through November 4th. And that in doesn't. fact, later today at 1230, we're going to have a Facebook Live. If you go to philanthropytank.org, you can get more information and just check out how to apply and go through it. And part of the process is creating a startup video to discuss your concept. That's how he got his start. And then he's taken it further. And it's amazing to watch how him and his partner, Nestor, have done to be able to educate people, teachers, and parents just how to deal with dyslexia. Yeah, it's a great thing. Get, get the information out there and show people that, you know, if you're dealing with this, this is something that you could definitely, you could definitely handle and have a whole life of reading out in public with yes. people. It was yeah. nice meeting you both. Shane, Michael, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you for having us.